Even in the darkest of times, there is always hope. But sometimes fear clouds our vision. Sometimes our strength gives out. And yet sometimes when all seems lost, a light shines through the darkness. And we are reminded that even the smallest amount of courage can turn the tides of war. Spyro, open your eyes. Get up. Cinder, what happened? Where are we? I don't know. It's all a blur. Yeah, me too. My head's pounding. Shh, wait. That's not your head. I hear it too. What is that? Sparks, is that you? For once, I wish it was. What are they doing? Let's not stick around to find out. Come on! Oh, what is your problem? Oh, this, this can't, can't be, be good. good.
break this thing. It's holding us down. This chain is slowing us down. We can't fight it. We'll have to move in unison. Follow my lead. Why should you lead? Uh-oh. Take cover! Okay, good idea. You lead. Hey, Spyro! Man, you're alive! Sparks! It's good to see you, too. You okay? Eh, you know, a little stiff. Voice keeps changing, but I'm good. Hey, this reunion is really touching and everything, but shouldn't we be going? Unless you want to wait for that thing to climb back up. I hate to think what it might do to Sparks. Who is he? I don't know. All he said was, Shh, you're making too much noise. Huh. I like him already. Spyro, Cinder, how do you feel? Anything broken? Shaken a little, but not too badly, thanks to you. <sighs> I am relieved. I had feared I might be too late. My name is Hunter. Hunter? You've been tracking me. For far too long, friend. When you didn't return to the temple, the Elder Dragon, Ignitus, sent me to find you. That was nearly three years ago. What? Three years? But that's impossible. Yes. I'm sure this news comes as quite a shock. Forgive me for the brevity of my explanation, but this is not the place to account for missing time. We are not safe here. Follow me.
It's getting closer. Whew. Um, you go first, Cinder. It's safer. For me. Safer for me, I mean. Quiet. You'll give us away. 